my name is Ruby Ramos. Karen Ankato. My name is Destiny to Shields. Julia McAllister. Tara Williams. Um, a whole bunch of American states, like probably 15 of them. Um, Cameroon, Morocco, Netherlands, Belgium, and Italy. Oh, I've been to Puerto Rico, Italy, and more along the East Coast, Florida. Inside of the country, I've been to 13 plus states. And outside of the country, I've been to Sicily, Italy, and Jamaica. I've been to seven uh, states in the U.S. and then I just went to Italy. I've been to uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Mexico, Barbados. I think that my initial feeling towards coming to school is like exactly the same um, because I was excited to meet all these amazing people or all these people on the campus because I love people and in some ways it's like I knew how I knew that it was going to be a different experience especially being a minority on campus and I knew that you know it's going to have different types of experiences because of the people on campus. Um, am I just satisfied with being here? No. Um, because I think that the connections I've made with people make up for any lack of connection I have with others. I'm a first generation college student so all the experience I've seen from college has been in movies and TV shows so I just thought it would be this fun freeing experience and that's what it's been. Um, I was just ready to get out of high school and experience college. I wanted to get out. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted to be done with it. I was scared, just a tad bit, but you know, I want to get out. I'm tired of it. Um, whenever I first came, I was a little nervous, but after that, I was good. <laughs> yeah, it's good, because I get to do like what I want, and yelled at. It's really sad because you know that's my bitch. She a little devil but that's my bitch and um, I miss my little siblings because literally they motivate me to wake up every day because I have to take care of them but you know everybody else I can live without. That's a lie except for like my uncles and not. Everybody else oh well. I'm kind of glad to be away from my parents because they were starting to be a little bit irritating so it's nice to have that freedom. I can see them anytime so it's fun. Um, well, I'm kind of, I don't mind not being, being near my mom because I've been away from her before, you know, being on debate tournaments or like going away for like the weekends and, you know, just like regular life. I've been out of her space before, so it's not that different. I'm cool with it. It's um, better like, so you're getting ready for life. good experience. I was really excited to actually go somewhere else other than the U.S. and be able to experience a different culture. Um, being with friends just helped it a lot because they, they've been outside of the country so they're able to help me through the process a little bit. I've traveled out the country and especially I've gone to Europe quite often and I realized that Europeans hate American. Like they hate us. Literally. We're a laughing stock. So when I go there I don't even tell them I'm from America because at that time I didn't have my um, American passport. I had my Cameroon passport. So I'd be like, I'm African and I'll put on the accent and they would believe me. So and they would like me more. So when I went to Italy, I was like, okay, Karen, calm down. Don't be too loud. Don't be too obnoxious. Just enjoy yourself, but don't go too crazy. Well, I think that, um, so I've been to several different states and you know going from state to state you notice that like not everybody's the same that not everybody has the same like background knowledge about culture or diversity or anything like that so it's like you have to like pick up on things you notice and I think that traveling a lot has you know 
show me that being in America, you know, it's different from Jamaica. Um, uh, of course, culturally, you know, everything is, you know, culturally diverse and different from how it is in Jamaica. I think that me going to Jamaica, traveling, going to the airport before has made going to Italy so easy. Um, and I think that, you know, being in places that are different from, you know, what I'm used to, like Baltimore, Maryland, allow me to go out of my comfort zone and allow me to enjoy being in Italy rather than talk about how things are so different because I'm so used to being in different situations. I have traveled before. I've traveled with my family to Puerto Rico and I've traveled with my class for a senior trip to Florida, so I was prepared in group settings going places. I sort of knew how to handle the airport and I knew how to navigate a little bit better. There was still a lot to learn culture-wise because it wasn't a whole different country, but it, I was a little prepared. That would actually be pretty sad because as annoying as my family is, I do get to see them anytime. They live 45 minutes away, so for someone to tell me that I can't see them, it would be very upsetting because I do need to get away sometimes. I'm quitting because one, I need to escape from school. And an escape from school for me is not like going to parties, going out with friends. I mean, I don't even party, but like going out for friends is an escape, but sometimes I really just need to see my mother. I think that if I were told that I cannot go home until the end of the year, I would, I would, I would die. Um, honestly, because I'm a very family oriented person. I love my family. They've made me the person I am and I've, I have, I'm, we have such a close knit family that being away would be so difficult because of their personalities and you know the people they are they're just amazing people to be around and not being around that you know same energy that I'm so used to would change me I'd probably be depressed it would just be a whole issue if I wasn't able to see my family so I think that's going to be a little different and difficult when I decide to go to study abroad because I won't have that every other weekend go home I think I'd be okay just because I'd be able to call them and then I'd see them in the summer, so I'd be fine. Um, I was cool with staying here. I could have went home, but I chose not to. I was going to be living hell because that's four months, and my family's annoying. Like, I'm going to miss you guys because. I'm always around you guys and I've adapted to living to you with y'all but going home is needed I just need a month that I'm good winter break was just perfect amount of time but four months I'm gonna go insane because my little sister is really annoying I I I'm excited to go back home. It's gonna be weird because my, my mom moved and I'll be trying to, you know, get my old routine back. However, my old routine is now at this new house and I'll, I'll try to get the routine flowing between me and my friends and making sure that I see all my family members in time within this compact space of four months, right? Um, and it, it'll be difficult because I spent a year here and it's like, this is where I live. Um, this is, this is where I've been making so many experiences in the range of a few months. And, you know, I'm going to miss the people here, too. It's like you make so many connections that, you know, you don't want to let go, even if it is just for four months. I'm kind of uh, excited because I'll get to see my family and I'll be able to see my dog. So that's good. My, I'm going to miss it out here, but I can last with my family because they're nice. I'm going to miss my friends and it's going to be really sad honestly because I've been with these people all year and as annoying as it can get, they're, this is so cheesy, they kind of became like a second family to me, especially Barbara St. Floor. Aww. She's, <laughs> she's also a great person I'm going to miss, but 
it's really sad because you get used to it and you have this freedom with all these great people and then you gotta go home to annoying people who tell you what to do every five seconds but you love them too because they're your family. Three jobs. I have to. I can't. I'm broke. I can't afford nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm planning on getting another job. I got my first job on campus and now I, I get the taste of money and blood and sweat and tears and I'm gonna do that again. Um, probably go to work, maybe do a summer class, that's about it. I plan to get a job because my mother's gonna get mad at me. Honestly, at this point, she gets mad at everything, so.